Hello friends, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to cover our final SQL injection part. Um, before we got started, be aware that the things that we're doing, you can only do on systems that you own or have permission to do them on. If you do them on systems that are for, uh, owned by somebody else, you're probably breaking law, so be careful. With that out of the way, let's uh, get started. Um, last time we left off with this very nice SQL injection that allowed us to get the username and password from the mysql.user um, table. Uh, we found that root was empty and admin had this really nice hash. So we were able to get two fields with our query, which is very good, of course, but uh, we would like to get more data. If you want to explore a schema, you're not going to do that two columns at a time. So what is a way to get more data? Instead of using two columns to grab data from the database, we can also take those columns and combine them into a single string. So we only need one field to extract all the information that we would want. In MySQL, you can use the concat statement for this. So you would do a select and then you can concatenate multiple fields and put some delimiters between them, um, which would work very well in our case. What we now would also want to see is that we can identify the, uh, the columns separately and we want to know when the end of the line is in case everything gets put behind each other. Separate the columns using a pipe character and then at the end of the line we would put another character, let's say a dollar sign. We would have a mechanism to say, well, these are columns and this is the end of the line. And then when we put them into a uh, text editor, we can manipulate it and get a great overview. This will allow us to get all the information from the database. So we're almost there. But now the distinction becomes when is a field empty or when is it null? Well, luckily, MySQL also has the if null statement. And if we apply that to our SQL statement, we get the following. We would do select null. So the first column will be empty. We have two. We only need one at this time. And the second one will be a concatenation of a pipe character to separate columns. If null, then we'll cast the column that is returned as a car. So that will be uh, interpreted as string. And if it is null, it will be converted to 0x20, which is a space, separated by a pipe character. And then we do the same for the next column. We try the query and we see that the surname now contains the, f the same values, root and an empty string. Uh, for a row, same here, same here, same here, and the admin row, you see it even better, first column, second column. This allows us to build out our query to uh, contain anything we want. Luckily, there is something we want from MySQL. If we take all these columns and apply the same logic that we did with our username and password in our previous example, we will get this. And you might need to adjust it to the version of MySQL that you're using. And you see that here I already set it to the schema of the DVWA, which is the applications database. So we will be getting all the tables and columns within the database of this application. So a query ran and you see that we now get a lot of more information in our surname field. What can we do now? Let's copy it over to our editor. So let's sort the lines. We'll start with uh, empty space, first name, and then the ID, the row. Those are not very interesting. Then we're left with only the surname rows. So if we take the surname part out of it. So with this one query, we found that there's a guest book table and a users table that we can retrieve information from. So this concludes our uh, session into SQL injections. We went from having nothing to finding a SQL injection to retrieving some data based on columns, to now being able to get all the data we want by using string concatenations. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've not done so, click the subscribe button. It will keep you informed of new videos that I post. Have a good day and see you next time.